Hello my crafty friends, how are you doing today? Happy Mother's Day. I'm here to uh, work on this little book here. So I've already taken it apart. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, do something special for Mother's Day, a special video. So I'm gonna try to focus just on this little book and finish it today. And it's gonna be a real simple journal and it's gonna be in my shop hopefully when you see this, because hopefully I'll finish it right now. <laughs> but I've already started it and I, uh, you know, uh, started it last night. I've been thinking about it overnight as far as how, uh, what I wanted to do and I uh, was experimenting a little bit. So is, this is one of those little books, like a first little golden book, but this is a Rand McNally book. And at the moment, after I've taken off the spine, spine, it is... Uh, only four and one quarter inches wide and it is about six and a half inches tall. I've already I've done a little experimenting because what I did was I made some pages and I uh, kept the pages in here from the book but I'm debating on whether I want to keep those in here. I think what I decided <laughs> it's it's so hard because I really kind of like want to keep them in the book but I also kind of don't want to keep them in the book but what I did at, to experiment was uh, to see I wanted to see how much room the pages just from the book took up and if I I kind of put myself in the person that gets this journal in the long run if I got this journal would I want the pages from the book in this book it's not that I don't like the pages from the book. I love them. I think they're beautiful. They have beautiful colors and uh, all of that, you know, both sides. <clears throat> it's a beautiful, you know, it's called, <clears throat> excuse me, Bible Stories for Little Children. So it's got, you know, nice stories in here and nice pictures. But I still, if I were going to get this jerk journal, I think I would want to use the pages from the book separately. So let me uh, let me pause and I'm going to take these pages out because you can see how much is in here right now. It's not enough. It's not done or anything. I want to put, I mean, even if I kept these pages in here, I want to would put more pages in here. But I want to see with what paper I do have in here so far like this. I want to see what it looks like without the book pages. So I'm going to pause and take them out. And sorry, I'm holding it so close. I've got the camera pulled in a little bit there. But um, yeah, I'm going to pause and take this out, the page, book pages out. And actually, it, the, the experimenting, another experimenting part I did was, uh, these are this, these are old, like uh, 19, I think they're, I have a few pulled out here. So these, I pulled four of these little books out. And they're all from the early 1950s. I think one even said like 1940 something. And you see the pages are brown. And I was worried about worried about if I did put them in here because I wanted to do this coil metal coil bound. And I was worried that it would just kind of the metal coil was kind of just eat up these pages, like you know, just kind of you know as I would punch through them, they would just disintegrate type of thing. So I put. I went through. This took quite a bit of time, so this was quite a uh, time-consuming uh, experiment, but I went through and put washi tape on the edge of each one. Like this one, I just put it on the front there. Uh, I figured one side. And then uh, most of them, though, I did it like this. Because this wasn't this one, I wasn't cutting off anything. You see, I wasn't really cutting off anything, and it's a title page. And But the rest of them, I felt like I'm didn't want to cut off the words or the pictures or anything, so I kind of just wrapped it around. So, and they're all glued on too. They're all just glued on. They're not just you know tear it off and uh, put it down. It's glue. I'll put glue on each piece and then put it down. So that's why I say it was quite time consuming, but I wanted to do it because I want to do some more of these little books uh, now and then, and I want to know. I want to figure out well, how I want. Them. How I want to do it. That was kind of my uh, thing going around my head. Like I am working on another journal right now, a vintage sewing journal, but I wanted to do something special for Mother's Day and I wanted to do something with these little books. So I'll, I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I figure out how I like this one or what I don't like about this one, then maybe the next a few will be a little quicker, 
right? So let me pause and take these out so I don't have to do that and take up time on camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I did that. And uh, as I was doing it, I was thinking, yes, I really uh, do want to separate these. So like when I put this in my shop, my eBay shop, I will, like whoever gets this, sorry, I keep saying like, I will uh, send along the book pages. So if somebody wanted to put one of the book pages in here, just say, see, see here, I put pretty paper pictures in here and I'm kind of like uh, picking out certain colors, but also I'm kind of looking at this as a stash buster kind of thing where I can use up some papers because I have a lot of paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking like, say you love this pastoral scene here from the book. On the other side is this one. Uh, or say you want to fussy cut this out or something, but you can take it and glue it in here. You know what I mean? Like if you just love this, you can just glue it right back in. Uh, if it were me doing that, I would cut off the little uh, blank part here and it'll be a little bit smaller. And then a little bit of this pink paper would show around it. But, you know, these will just be little... Uh, the book pages will be little, uh, I mean, you can make tags or whatever you want out of them. But these will come along with this journal when it's finished. So here's what it looks like now. You know, it's rather thin. So I pulled out, uh, I have some scraps already too. I have these scraps right here from, you know, cutting the pages I already cut. And those little scraps, and I have some strips that I can sew to get, you know, sew together and make some of my little strips. And, you know, since they are the colors from this journal, I would like to get that done and send those along with this little journal. And then I have more papers cut here of the same kind of papers I already cut, but I kind of wanted to, I'm, I'm making a pile like for the other journals. And, uh, but if I need some of these, I of course can put them in here, but they're the same papers I already put in here. I've got quite a stack there, you know, uh, because if I take, like, say, a 12, this was from a 12 by 12, and I cut it up to fit in here, you know, I have a lot of pages, right? But I don't want to put that so many pages of the same thing in this book. So that's why I have, like, say I took one out, and the rest are in that pile. That's why there's so many in that pile. So what else do I have to put in there? <laughs> what else? I kind of look, apparently I'm leaning toward... See the colors on here? There's a lot of colors on here, but there's kind of like this reddish, bright reddish pink color. I don't know if it was originally maybe all like more red, like here. I guess it was, but it's kind of a, a pinkish red. And then we've got blues and greens. So I'm kind of picking out blues and pinks and things like that. So that's what's in here, as you can see. But like I picked out some really kind of this is coffee dye composition book paper, so that's writing paper. This is actually my own, very own painted paper. Uh, this was, uh, I had some, I guess it was cardstock and scrapbook paper that I didn't like and I painted it. <laughs> so this was a couple years ago or a few years ago. I made little circles on it and just it was just a painty paper at, in the end, but very pretty. But I've kept it all this time for some reason. I hadn't used it, so I thought I was trying to pull out some papers pretty papers and papers I haven't used and um, actually all the papers I pulled out so far that are in here right now uh, that are like scrapbook paper are all from the thrift store believe it or not they're very beautiful but they are from the thrift store they aren't anything I bought from anywhere else so <laughs> uh, that's kind of fun to use up you know some of the paper because I kind of uh, you know have if I do a themed journal I'll go for a collection kit, you know, like the cat themed one or the Alice in Wonderland themed one or whatever. So it's nice to pull out some that are not themed and just use them. So this is a little, this was a little piece in that scrap of paper pack. It wasn't a pack. It was a, just a stack of scrap of paper that was at the thrift store. It was just this one little piece of paper in the middle of all the 12 by 12s. And I need to cut a little sliver off here. I'm going to make a little fold right there. But yeah, I want to add some more of this. So I'm going to show you a little bit. 
of what I have pulled out. And let's just, this is a nice blue one. I've got a lot of uh, pinks in here so far, so it'd be nice to have a little blue one in here. Let's stick it right here. And I've got, I pulled out, this is actually really beautiful. Uh, I want to have plenty of what I would call writing paper in here, but the thing is, a lot of these scrap paper, scrapbook papers are uh, like they have maybe a design on one side and they're white on the other side this one has a pocket because it was long and I want you know didn't want to it was actually like eight by six or something like that or 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 something like that it wasn't eight and a half by eleven it was smaller than that um, some of these so I instead of uh, cutting off the bottom I made a pocket you know I just folded it up and made a pocket but as far as writing paper, see this could be a writing paper. It's just a pretty piece of cardstock. But it could be written on or glued on or painted on or drawn on or whatever. So this one that's double sided. Here's a piece of, this is a very old, I don't know if you can tell that it's browning uh, ledger paper. So that's writing. I'm trying to find you something that has white on the back. <laughs> Here we go. So this is a piece of cardstock really pretty. I thought it went well with the pinks. And uh, it's white on the back. So of course anything time you have white, that is great writing space. You know what I mean? Or anything. It's great anything space. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's a wide open piece of paper. But anyway, this is really pretty uh, paper. And I thought it would be nice to have some of this in here. So I'm going to, I'm just been cutting it like this. Figuring out like this with the book cover. I want a little bit of space around the paper when I put it in there. And so I've just been measuring it like this. Actually, let me put my thumb a little bit over more there. And cutting strips. So, um, like I kind of figure out too, what's the best way to save paper on here? This way, what, you know, should I do it this way? Or this way without, you know, making too many scraps. So actually, you know, when, when I do that, it, it really does, if the paper is non-directional, of course, if it's directional, then you're limited. But of course, this is a blank piece of paper, but it's just a really uh, pretty color as far as being kind of, I'm going to call it parchment color. And then it's uh, nice and sturdy, so you could do really whatever you want on here. I think I'm making this a little bit too wide, but I just fold, ended up folding it in half because I, then I'll just have to cut off a little sliver. So I'm going to cut off, I think I'll cut off my sliver over here, actually where I just folded it. Let's see if that's enough. See, there we go. That'll be perfect. And then I can fold it in half. Yeah, this is what I was doing last night too with some of the papers. Just kind of figuring out the best way to fit it into the journal without making a lot of scraps and making the best use of the paper I can see. So I ended up with four pages, but now I'll just take one or maybe two. I'll take two and the other two will go in my pile for the other journals. <laughs> so uh, let's see. So we've got writing paper there. So as I cut up writing, what I call, especially like this, kind of just blank paper, I'll put it in between the papers that are colored. So I put one there, which is near the front. I'll go to the back now and put one back here so they're not right next to each other. So, and I do wanna, like, maybe this I would turn around and have it facing the back. So you have a colored piece right next to the back cover. And then put this right here, writing paper. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that. Let me show you the other papers I'm going to cut up because I'm not going to, I, I'm going to save this strip here for my sewn on strips that I make for this journal. And this one, these are just trash. So yeah, let me show you the other papers. So I pulled out some uh, graph paper. So I'm going to cut up some of that. I have more ledger. Here's the ledger paper that I think I got that one from. Uh, but I, there was like two really super old ones stuck in here. I think when I, I got this from the thrift store, of course. 
It's the same with the graph paper. And there were two older ones stuck in here with all these, uh, which that look new, but you know, they are uh, from the thrift store. But you know, a lot of times, I don't believe these kind of little things, do they have any kind of date? Well, it does have a date here. 1993, right there, the copyright date. So this is vintage, <laughs> this is vintage electric paper, I guess. Okay, so I've got that. I just want to show you what I have to cut up. And then I'm going to go cut up some more. I'm going to try to show you, let's see. Uh, well, I guess I'll show you pretty much everything, because some of it I've already cut up. Okay, I won't show you what I've already cut up, because you've already seen it in pretty much in here. So, uh, let me see. Like, this one's a pretty blue. It's double-sided, but see how it's, it's kind of, it's not darker. It's, it's, I was going to say darker blue, but it's just kind of a medium blue color with a lighter blue color on that side. I think that'll be really pretty in there. I've got this one, which is white on the back. These are all from the thrift store, too. Uh, this is a beautiful one here. And this is double-sided. <clears throat> Another beautiful bluish color with white on the back. These are the same. I have two of these the same. And it's a pretty bluish one here. And it's got design all over it with this pretty flower down the side. And that's white on the back. Here's another bluish one. Oh, this is the same as that one I just showed you. Let me put those together. So I know I have two the same. This is a... Uh, Food color dyed. I believe this is food color dyed. Unless, yeah, I think this is food color. Wait a minute, let me think about this. I think this is paint residue. Yeah, when I I had a couple of paint bottles that I emptied, you know, just acrylic paints, and uh, you know how they ha you have paint stuck to the side that you can't get out. I just uh, put some water in there, shook it up, and poured it in another jar and. Uh, use it to dye some, this is cardstock. So this is my, my own dyed cardstock that I made myself. And then here's another piece of scrap paper, scrap of paper white on the back, that's cardstock. So uh, instead of you watching me cut these up, I'm going to cut them up, the one, you know, and cut up the pieces that I don't have in here yet, which is most of the, what you just saw, except for the ledger paper. And I'll come back and show you where I'm at. So I'll be back. Okay, my friends. I have cut all the papers. And uh, it. I should count them. I'll count them before. I'll count them next time I pause. But I think I've got about as many as I can get in there. And like I said, uh, like even this one here, you could write on that or glue on it. And it's got white on the back. There's a really pretty, they're all really pretty. It's really um, neat to cut up papers and see them take kind of like, almost like they take on a different life when you cut them up. You know what I mean? Like they're actually something now. There are pages in a journal. I want to show you this one back here. When I cut it up, I didn't even realize there was a bird on it. If I can find it. Here it is. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. And it just happened. I cut it up randomly, like just getting the shape to fit in here. And that little bird ended up right in the middle of this page. <laughs> so pretty. Anyway, that is in here. So now I'm going to go and get my, I'm gonna count, pause, count the pages. I wanna tell you how many are in here. There are flip outs and pockets. Like here's a little flip out. There's a big flip out back here. I can find it. Let's see, I might not be able to find it right now. Here it is. Uh, this ended up like, this so that's a nice big flip out so there's a few flip outs in here there's a few pockets oh and another thing is I was making finishing it up here putting the pages in I decided you know I was thinking about what's going to be the first page what's going to be the last page you know right when you open the book journal and I decided to put the title page in here so that was the first page and it still is the first page so I like that it has a page that page in from the original book and then I decided to put the last page back in here. So the last page actually matches the back cover, but it's going to be, see this is the page with the little, uh, the mother and the child there on the back. 
So that is going to go right there. And I've got, you know, the washi strengthening both of those. And I did that last night, like I think I already told you. That was because I was intending to put keep all the pages in here. And uh, I have the pages right here. Uh, I might even go through and put one more page in the middle. So here's all the pages that are left with all the little washi tapes on them. <laughs> Let's see if we put one in the middle. I don't know if I will or not. But let me look at these real quick. Um, thinking about all the different stories here, too. Here's Baby Moses, the Baby Moses, right there. That's a nice one. It's all, all uh, text. So, like, if I put this one in there, whoever gets this journal could, you know, do something here. You know, make this a writing spot. In fact, maybe I, I might even do that. You know, I think that's actually a good idea. <laughs> so this is a potential for the middle. I just want to see what else I have in here. I like that idea, though. I'll put some coffee dyed paper or some kind of paper over that, the text, for you. And then so here's another one that could be, you could put writing paper there. But I like the pic Baby Moses picture. Let me see. Uh... This is really this is a really gorgeous picture here too with the young man with his sh uh, lamb in his lap maybe I'll put both of those in there they're just so gorgeous okay so we have done it we've picked out two <laughs> see you never know what's gonna happen right so but I think uh, I will put this one in as is it's got a nice big pretty picture there and then if somebody gets this and they want to put they can either, maybe they want to read this, and if they would rather have a writing spot there, they can put, so they can have fun putting whatever paper they want there for writing. And then it has this beautiful picture on the back. So I'll put that one toward the back of the journal, maybe right after this bird that I showed you. And then this one will go toward the front. Uh, let's see. I'll put it, say, right here. And, but I'm going to add a, a writing spot on this one, I think. Let's see what it's all about. This is about the, you know, the, the story of Moses. So maybe I'll leave this and then somebody can do what they want there and just put a writing spot over here. I think that would be all right. Okay. So I'll leave that open. I'm going to count, pause, count the pages, put a writing spot there. I'm going to look for some pretty paper. I could cut out some paper or tear some paper. I don't know. I, I'm i just thinking about it right now because this is kind of, you know, on the spot crafting. And uh, then I'm going to count the pages and then I'm going to get my binding machine out. And I'm going to see if I can do that on video. I've never done it on video because um, it's I like to concentrate <laughs> when I'm doing that and I don't want to mess it up. So uh, if I think I can do it on video, I will. Otherwise... I'll do go ahead and bind it and then I'll come back and show you so just one second hello my friends I'm back I have I went ahead and uh, bound it with the spirals I uh, I realized as I was starting well it shakes my table and it's noisy and uh, a few other things uh, uh, the whole uh, process is kind of uh, I just need to do it off video really I think so anyway, I did, and it is bound, and it came out. I'm quite pleased. It's so cute. Uh, I love it. I actually, I really love it. I wasn't, it, it's, um, you know, I do different bindings. I do make a new spine. I do this. I do the um, traveler notebook with the elastics. So I wasn't sure which one I should use on here, but I'm glad I did because if I would have, the thing about if I would have made a new spine and put, you know, like the fabric, it would have covered up. See, I, I, this is exactly where I cut off the spine is what you see here. It would have covered up a little bit of this. And maybe it would have been fine, but I kind of didn't want to cover up any of it. So that's why I thought, you know, one reason I thought this the, the metal coils would be good because I'm not covering up any of the cover. And uh, it's such a cute cover. So anyway... 
here it is uh, bound with all the pages. I did count the pages and it came out to be 48. I was like, 48, what What in the world? <laughs> and I know um, I don't put more than 50 in these coils because I feel like by the time you're going to add things in here, it's going to be too, uh, it, it would be too wide if I put more papers in that. But I wanted to have plenty of papers in here. So I think 50 is good. And I've, I've, um, but that's what I do usually when I make these types of metal coil uh, bound journals. So I added two more. <laughs> I added two more pages. So I was like, you know, I was kind of like just putting them in there when I thought there was enough. I thought, okay, that's about right. And then I counted them 48. So I put two more in here. But, uh, so now I need to add, you know, there are a few pockets. Uh, let's see, I was going to show you that tuck spot, if I can find it. Okay, this is what I did. I mean, not tuck spot, writing spot that I put in. So here's that little page that we put in, the baby Moses story. And I said I was going to add a writing spot. So I did. This is a little piece of note paper. I kind of was trying to figure out. I looked at my scraps. And I didn't really have any scraps of coffee dyed paper. And I didn't know if I really wanted coffee dyed paper. So I looked in my paper drawers that I have where I have stationery and note paper. And I found this little piece of note. This is a little notepad just this size. I thought that would be perfect there. And then what I ended up doing was just putting it. This is a glued on washi tape here. You can actually see through the washi tape and see the baby Moses there. And then it can flip up and you can still read this page if you wanted to, um, you know. So uh, now I'm going to add some ephemera and I'm going to go and get my, my, I think I'll start with my smallest ephemera box. Maybe I'll grab that and see if there's anything in there uh, that I want to add. This metal box here that I got from a thrift store it's probably was some type of, it looks like maybe it was a first aid kit. That's just, or see, no, it doesn't look like I've ever, ever hung on a wall, but I don't know, whatever it was, it's now it's my small ephemera holder. <laughs> so let's see what I have in here uh, real quick. And then I might go through the other ones off video. So uh, like here's a cute little envelope, but kind of looking for things that would go with this journal, of course. So uh, these are orange and purple. A little purple one might be okay. A little purple index card. Oh, it's oh, oh I see they're orange on the. All right, now I got it. <laughs> when you look, haven't looked at things in a while. Here's a little faux postcard that would be cute. Let's see. Here's a little tag. It does. It's orange and blue, but that would still be cute. Let's see what else. Here's a little, um, some little floral tags. Let's see what these are made of. These are, uh, here's a floor. Okay, here's a pink, and this one would match and go. So one of those little round tag. And let's see what else. Just looking through here because let's see this one. This one here is one of my sewn tags. It's got fabric on it. It's got two layers. Got fabric in the back. Then a little heart that I cut out from the fabric and a sewn on button with a vintage, uh, I think this is a vintage sheet uh, topper. So that, uh, here's a little lady I can put in here. <laughs> Fun stuff in here, let me tell you. Here's a cute one. Um, it does have buttons on it. If this is made from also vintage sheet, uh, I don't know about, I mean, this one would be okay, but I'm going to put up the up there because I'm not sure. Let's see what else. I know you probably can't see very, very good in here, but I only have, let me move this out of the way. My paper cutter, that would be a good idea, right? Right? <laughs> You're saying, yeah, why didn't you already do that? <laughs> and you can see a little bit better. And I can raise my camera a little bit too, maybe. Hold on. I don't want to mess things up here, but, uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Oh, okay. That works out well. All right, now what else is in here? Here's a mini moo card. Oh, that's that's cookbook related. A uh, little priority mail card. Snow. A bird. Oh, my bird. Pieces of ephemera. 
And here's a little tiny, uh, let's see, here's a little tiny, is it in, oh, here's a little shaker card, <laughs> a little shaker tag, a little mini, it's got glitter and uh, sequins in there. That is a little mini shaker card. Uh, let's see, what else? What else, what else? Because there is color in here, as you saw. I'm not like going for neutral or anything, but I have a couple of my little spirograph uh, design, the designs in here. I could glue that down somewhere. We'll see. I'll put that up there with the potential. It has potential. Uh, okay, here's a little file folder that could go in there. A little scrapbook paper file folder. And, uh, well, you know what? I thought uh, it might put a couple of library pockets with it. Like, I don't know if I'll glue them in, but I'll, like, here's a little tiny one that I've made out of a uh, cardstock, like, file folder with pieces glued onto it. Like, this feels like. I'm not sure what that is. Neutral paper there, and then some different other little papers here on the front of it. This part here, pocket part. Anyway, that would go. So a pocket to go along with it. I thought I might put a couple pockets in here, so that like if somebody did want to glue a pocket in the front, inside the front and back cover. Oh, this is made out of an index uh, Rolodex card. That's what these are. But here's another one that would. Uh, let's see. Let me see what the best. That one's kind of got a little flower on it. This one has the word hope on it. That's neat. I think I'll put that one in there. I don't know. I'm getting vibes about who wants this journal already. I don't know. <laughs> I know that's so weird. But I have I have a, even a name in mind. Like, it's somebody that's bought a couple of my journals, but not a lot of them. So... Or it could be a new, you know, it could be a new person. I'm not saying that. I'm just getting a vibe like, I don't know. I have a feeling this person's going to want this journal. <laughs> if you, you guys, do you, I mean, I mean, I didn't make it for any certain person, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Oh, here's a cute one. It's a little tag. And it's got a little embroidered flower right there in the middle. It's got a little uh, circle cut out. This Feels like it was all part of the whatever this cardstock is. Got a little seam binding here on the top. All right, so that's that hole. I've been using a lot of that small ephemera lately, and it's actually it actually was packed, and it's actually got room in there now. So that's awesome. So this is a lot already to put in this little journal from just from that little box. But we shall see how we fill it up. So these two, I would. Go along will go along with the journal. I'm not going to put those inside, along with all the rest of the pages. And then uh, let's see what else. I said I would send the scraps along. I need to find those. Let's see, they kind of got buried as I was making pages. Uh, they are. Here's all the pages I have for another journal. As I was cutting up the papers off video, I was adding to this stack. So these will be for another journal. Here's some more ledger paper pages. Uh, here's the scraps from this journal. So those will go along with it. There's a piece of trash. <laughs> uh, I didn't sew the strips together yet. But this is all the strips I have from this journal. Oh, here's another little one. Oh, here's a... Wait, hold, let me grab them all. So here's the strips. I will cut these down and sew these, glue these together and put a stitch down and these will go with the journal as a sewn, couple of sewn, however many I can get out of here, sewn strips. And if it's not last, I think it'll be at least three actually. Then, see this one's long too, so I gotta cut them down and make them so they're not, at least not any longer than the journal. But I, I think I'll get three out of that, but whatever I get out of these, I'll put there, put them with the journal, the sewn strips uh, and uh, if there's not three, I'll add to it. That was kind of my point I was trying to get to. <laughs> now all this is going in here and we have our potential there. So let's just, I didn't know if I was going to do this on or off video, but we're not doing a flip through right yet. I'm not going to try to, try not to show you all the pages just, just now. I want to, uh, look for the pockets and put things in the pockets or actually I need to get my paper clips out, don't I? Yeah. I need my paper clips. Where are they? Let's see. Are they in here? I thought I put them in here, but I, I'm not picturing them. <laughs> Where did I put them? 
because <laughs> I filled up my little paper clip thing. Okay, I haven't come to any pockets yet, I don't think, unless I missed one. Let's see, here's one here. I think I have a couple of, uh, like this is a pretty envelope that we can put something in. Let's put, this matches it. Let's put this little index card in here and we'll put it right in this envelope, in this pocket, if it'll fit. Yes, it will. See, I didn't decorate the pocket. So this is a kind of like a blank journal. Uh, I wanted to do this also because I'm kind of like, I want to see if, I think I would, I wanted to experiment like, would I want to do something like this for my, the girls I work with at work for Christmas? Uh, I wanted, uh, what I wanted in here was pretty much, you know, some pages are a little different, like see how these are a little different size, but not extremely different. So I didn't want to like give somebody like the girls at my office a journal like this and it has like a little page down here or a little strip in the middle or something weird like that, which is not weird for a junk journal or for a person that's experienced with a junk journal. That won't throw them off, but I think that would throw off a person that never saw one before. Like, what do I do with this type of thing? So, um, so this was, the, I tried to make the pages pretty much full length, except for like some little, a couple little ones like this, which I think is fine. You know, you know, you can write on here, do whatever you want. It's not like that's going to throw anybody off. Okay, now I skipped over and probably skipped some pockets. I just hope I didn't miss any. I feel like I missed one. Yep, here it is. I missed this one. Let's put the file folder in there. Uh, yeah, these are small pockets. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's good. And maybe the bird. Put the bird in here. So yeah, whoever gets this will be able to decorate the pockets. Let me make sure because I'm... I need to focus here and make sure I didn't miss any pockets we've got. But I don't want to show you, I don't I want, I want to do a flip through at the end. So that's why I'm like, I don't really want to show you all the pages yet because I know you really haven't seen the pages really well. So I want you to enjoy the flip through, like not like I've already seen it, Sherry. I want it to, to be the first time you've really seen the, the flip through. Okay, I think I feel another pocket coming on here. No, not there. Oh, we refilled that one. We've got that envelope in there. And I showed you all the things that are coming along with it, so far anyway. Uh, okay, pocket, pocket, where are you? Oh, you're seeing the pages. No. <laughs> Let me go like this so you don't see them so well. Sorry to be so mysterious. But if I show you now, then you won't want to see them later, right? You won't care. Okay. This looks like the perfect place for a little faux postcard. And this lady... That lady, the, I always say this, but, you know, I, these little pictures I get from Reader's Digest that I've taken apart. So, let's see, any more pockets? I'm going to have to go find my paper clips. So, I'm going to put some paper clips. I'll clip in some things, too. Believe me, I have plenty more ephemera to go through. And I have these right here to, to uh, put in. Okay, so I don't see any more pockets. Okay, I'm going to pause, make sure I didn't miss any pockets, and uh, go find my paper clips. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. My camera was doing something weird there. I had to make sure everything was working right. Okay, so I went ahead and finished putting that ephemera in here. I did find a pocket I missed, so I got that taken care of. I added a tuck spot here with the little spirograph piece, and I pulled out some things that I could... Uh, clip in and I found my paper clips. Guess where they were? They were in my paper clip drawer. Hello. <laughs> so, and I also found a little tassel that I already have made that goes with the colors here. We've got blues and reds and greens, all the colors in this little cover made of different yarns and some eyelash yarn. So that will be attached in a minute. Let's uh, look for spots to clip in these things with some pretty paper clips and then we'll do a flip through so we're going to try to do this real quick here these two coordinate really well that's why I put both of these in here see how they go together so well so let's clip this one here and I'm just going to pull out randomly paper clips that I think will go with this and clip them on so we'll have some little paper clips uh, decorating the top of this journal Let's see. 
Here, we'll go ahead and put this one. And these are journal cards that I've made out of uh, scrapbook paper. It, this, These were made out of a smaller scrapbook paper. Uh, let's see what I want to call it. A little booklet. Let's see, I'm looking for colors here. <laughs> we'll be a little picky. Uh, yeah, it was like a 4 by 6 or something like that. Scrapbook paper. 4 by 8 something like that. Scrapbook paper. Uh, pad. Little one like that. And I just cut them in half and rounded the corners and made turn the whole thing into journaling cards because that's what I wanted to do. So I hope you're going to have a great Mother's Day um, and do something. This is a little card I'm putting in here. It's Mary Englebright. I, uh, you will see the these in my upcoming this Thursday. Uh, I think, oh no, I think you've already seen this one. Yeah, I think you've already seen these. Uh, but you have one way or the other, you will have seen these in a uh, in a Thrifty Thursday. So did I pull out any more? Did I use all the ones I pulled out? Oh yes, I guess I did. I thought I, oh here it is. I was like, I thought I had another pur purple one here, and there it is. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let's go back a little bit and put this one was really cute. On this side, I, I especially like this side. It's a two sided one. This one says, "Hey girl." And this one says, as this little bird with the word cherish and a grid here so you can write on it and uh, or glue it down, whatever somebody wants to do. I just thought it was sweet. So um, let me find another. I'm trying to find something different because I have a lot of the sparkly ones on top. I did those last. I'm trying to find. Let me show you how many I made. Did I show you? Look at, look at that. I made a lot of <laughs> one night when I was watching TV. I made a bunch. Oh, here's one. This is a pretty one. This has that uh, that kind of ribbon on it with the little green flowers. So that will be here on this page. Let me get a hold of it. Try to get one page. I'm grabbing two pages. Okay, let's put this one right here. Kind of place the when I put these in, I put them in different places so they're not all like in the same spot. You know what I mean? I sticking out of the top of the book. There's the cherished one. And then this one is, let's put this one toward the back. We haven't put any back here. Um, this one, maybe I'll put it right here. And then if you want to, you could glue it down on this page. That would be pretty, the green and the pink. That looks really pretty together. Uh, but, yeah, so they don't all stick out. I think I was saying so they don't all stick out. There's a little one with a bow on it. I'll keep that in case I need it. So I want to pull a few more pieces of ephemera out here to put on. I can't see over there. Let me pull this over here so I can look through it. Kind of like spread them out here a little bit so I can see what I have. Lots and lots of paper clips now. See how I said I was running out? And <laughs> one night when I was watching TV, I made a bunch of them. Let's put one of these. It's a little different. And oh, here's a here's one that's different. That's pretty. Yeah, that's what I was I think I was looking for this one. Something a little different. Okay. All right, so let's put this one here. And hopefully that's in a different spot than any of the others. Okay, now let's close her up. Close her up. See, she's getting chunky, adding stuff to it. All right, well, what did I tell you? <laughs> I warned you, didn't I? Uh, okay, sorry about the glare. It's like the shite. light likes to shine on these books and just make a little glare. So let's open it up. Uh, but let's see, this is the other ephemera little box that I pulled out. So I'm going to put one of my little scrappy notebooks in here. Uh, let's see, any certain one or does it, it doesn't matter, big or small. Uh, uh, let's do this one here. That's a cute one. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's funny because it's narrow. And maybe I'll do two. Should I do two? And then Somebody can have like, here's a wide, wider one that's like short, wide, and kind of stocky. And then let's see if there's any more ephemera in here. Oh, let's put one of my little scrappy um, journal cards in here. Uh, which one? Here's one here. And you can, oh, it has a bird on the back. That's cute. Okay. That's a fly or a pamphlet from a nature center or a park we went to. And then, uh, let's see, anything else? What else?
else is in here? One of my book page tags could go in here. This guy. Sorry. Try to see. Let me move that. Um, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I'm trying to say, I was going to say, let me move the camera, but we'll be all right. It's a, it's a nice big tag. So that's three more things. Four more things. I'm going to have a lot of paper clips sticking out the back. Or out the top, I mean. Uh, anything else? And that's probably enough. But uh, I just want to see if anything else grabs me. Oh, here's some pretty ones here. These are covered with napkin. I, I could... Let me, let me grab one of these. These are really pretty. This is a... Uh, this is really pretty. It's covered with napkins. It's a journal card. It's sewn around. It's got piano paper on the back. And the thing of it is, is I think this is actually meant to be a Christmas napkin. But it doesn't look particularly Christmassy, does it? So I'm going to put one of those in there. Just because it's so pretty. And I think this is a pretty little journal. It turned out pretty. I mean, they all turn out pretty, right? But it's just so adorable. So, uh, okay. we got quite a few things now to stick in here. Let's uh, not be too picky where we put it, but I want to put them on a strong page. Like I wouldn't clip anything to uh, one of the book pages like that. It would be just be not strong enough to support it. So uh, let's see. Let's do let's do this one. We'll put the. I'm going to clip this on here, and then I'm going to use the little since it has a topper on it. This little. This is one of my little sewn together strip spits that I cut and put as a tab here. Anyway, that I can leave sticking out the top and clip this little paper clip with a bow on it on the side here. So you have a little decoration for the side of the journal. And then let's go over. Uh, I didn't put a whole lot in the back. Let's go back here a little bit um, toward the back half something here maybe. This one, this bright colored one on this darker background will be pretty. And we'll put the paper clip right there. And then we've got our, let's see, let's put this on here, this journal card. And we'll pick out a pretty blue. I don't have any blue ones yet. Paper clips. Uh, put that one right in the middle. And now we've got our two scrappy pads, uh, notepads. Let's put one toward the back. Let's see, maybe right here. I'll paper clip that on with another. Let's see, we only used one gold one so far, so let's use another gold. So you'll get lots of decorate, lots of my decorated paper clips with this. I just got ordered or. I, I need to get some more paper clips. I actually used up all every single one of my colored paper clips making these paper clips. I was surprised. I've never done that before. And I was like, wow. Sherry, you really went to town on those. But it was fun. And now I've got, oh, here's a pretty green one. I can't use one of these yet. There's a red one. Oh, I should use a red one because there's red in the cover. Uh, this is sticking out the bottom a little bit. Let me, um, I don't want it to get messed up or I would just leave it. Uh, I need to cut off about that much. I, I just, I don't want it to get all tattered and everything sticking out the bottom and, or bent, you know, totally bent. Like when I wrap it up and try to mail it, uh, I don't want it to get messed up. Okay, that looks good. So there's a green one. Let's put this one out toward the, the edge here because I don't have, I don't think I have any paper clips right out here. Okay. I think that's probably enough. Um, I don't have anything else pulled out to stick in here. And so I think we're good. I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot that we clipped in and put in the pockets. So let's attach. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. <laughs> She's chunky. <laughs> she got chunky. She gained a little weight there. <laughs> okay, so we just, when I have these, while well, coils, I can just attach the little tassel like that. You see the reds and blues in there. So there she is, all in her glory. All the little paper clips 
sticking out on the top. So cute. There's that little bow we put on there. So I'm considering it done. So uh, even though I put a lot in here, I didn't really decorate. So it's up to the person that gets this to decorate. And that's what I wanted because I wanted to make something like this for the girls at work without... Like, I don't want them to, I don't want to give them a journal and they'll be like, oh, it's already done. What am I supposed to do to it type of thing? You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to do this. So anyway, this is great for experienced and, uh, you know, beginners. And it's just a perfect little gift for someone, you or your, yourself or someone else. Anyway, let me show you as we're done now. We're going to do a flip through right now and this will be in my shop. When you see this video so as we open up you see the page from this this book here which I strengthened with washi tape and there's a lot of pretty scrapbook papers as you know some double-sided some not and it's amazing how it all comes together and just makes a beautiful little journal here and like I said 50 papers or 100 sides uh, it was about four by six, uh, just kind of rounding off the numbers there. So like a big index card. But that's why I kind of want to leave the pages blank. I don't know if I said that before. So that <clears throat> since they are small pages, I didn't want to put anything on them. So that whoever gets them can have the full page to do what they want. So we have... I'm not going to take apart things that we, we just put in because you know you saw them, but that drawing card with this pretty, this is double-sided blue, has this pretty, uh, like, a, like a medium color blue, like a robin's egg blue, but deep robin's egg blue, and then a really light blue over here. This is coffee dyed um, composition book paper, so it kind of made the lines go away except for the red line right there, but it came out really pretty in the the lines, it's actually really cool if you've never done this. It happened to me on notebook paper too, where the lines actually just disappear and dissipate into the paper. So see those blue, that blue right there? That's the color from the lines that used to be on this paper. <laughs> it's actually really cool the way that happens. Anyway, pretty scrapbook paper here. This paper actually, when I showed it to you, I think I said it's white on the back, but it's actually got a grid back here. Um, you probably can't even see it on the uh, camera, but uh, I can see it in person. And I almost missed it in person when I first showed it to you before I cut it up. This is my one of my painty papers. It's cardstock. This is that resume paper. This paper was scrapbook paper. It's cardstock, but it almost looks like a paint sample, doesn't it? That's what I thought when I saw it, that drawing card. This does have a little branding on the back, but I actually thought it was pretty. It's pretty gray color. And it's got this kind of floral design. And you can always cover that up with something to say whatever if you don't like it. Like that. I mean, that would just cover up the words right there. And then you have that pretty floral piece there. Or you can cover up the whole thing. Whatever you put a picture there. Whatever you want to do. Scrap, pretty scrapbook paper. This is uh, my uh, paint residue dyed paper. <laughs> so yeah, I like the shading on here. How it came out with all the different shades of pink. This is that one sewn. These buttons were sewn on and the fabric kind of and button tag there with some lace seam binding on the top. Scrap of paper. Our note, our little writing spot on the book page that's from this book. Scrap of paper here. That's got it. This one actually had a pretty design on it too. This is the same per paper that had the bird on it down in one corner and it's in the back. We clipped on that envelope with the Mary Inglebright card in there. So that is a, a vintage card that's never been used. A little tag here in my spiral graph. Yes, I, if you didn't know, I have a spiral graph and I made that. I had some fun. I gotta make some more of those. I've almost used them all up now though. But a uh, little tag there that is sewn. I think I'm, I don't know if I did this for a sewing uh, collab or not but anyway I think I did I think it was a sewing collab I was in and we had to use hearts so I used this little fabric heart cut out from another piece of fabric but yeah yeah I'm, that's coming back to me now because it was a couple years two or three years ago 
Here's our file folder with our little bird card there. Grid paper or graph paper. This is that big tag, big page tag that I um, clipped on this pretty scrapbook paper. Here is this cardstock paper. Oh, this is a this is a light cardstock, that blue, the two shades of blue. The, I'm gonna call this a paint sample, paint sample paint. Wow, I can't say it. Paint sample paper. <laughs> This is a pretty paper here. All the papers in here, everything in here, as far as the papers go, pages, uh, came from the thrift store. So that's pretty cool how you can buy a bunch of stuff from a thrift store and put it together to make a pretty little journal like this, right? A little pocket here, we've got the pretty envelope, the circle tag, and the shaker, little shaker tag in here. This is the napkin journal card that I talked about. Red paper. This is a number 40, uh, 49 and 50 papers that I added. I added little note papers like this. I thought that would be nice to have another note paper. It's a pretty color and it has lines on it. So scrapbook paper here. This is our Cherish uh, drawing card. Scrapbook paper there. That's a pretty one. Very pretty. I was actually saving that one for something. I don't know what. So I said no. Sherry, you are not saving it. You're using it right now. <laughs> and I like the color, so I was like, I keep pulling out, pulling it out too, because it's always because it's so pretty. But it had a teapot down in the corner, and I was like, I should save that for something. But what are you saving it for? I don't know. <laughs> so now I didn't save it anymore. I have now used it. <laughs> I think that was my like when you get things from a thrift store, a pack of paper like that. A lot of times there's only one of some, you know, like if you get a pad. A new pad, there's like two or three usually of the same thing. There was only one of those, so now it's cut up and used, and that is fine with me. Because that's my goal this year, to use my stash and not to go to the thrift store so much. I went to the thrift store already so much, and now I need to use the goodies that I brought home. So, anyway, you're seeing the pretty papers. That's my scrappy journal card there. More of the, this is the painted residue paint residue papers cardstock here in this pocket we have the picture of the lady from reader's digest and a little uh faux postcard and the other little card with the embroidered flower there in the middle on that pocket just a lot of pretty papers in here too really i just uh kind of like a mini smash book if you've ever here's the little bird if you didn't see it if you missed it earlier in the video, there she is. So cute. I saw the most beautiful bird couple in my backyard, by the way, this morning. When I was getting my coffee, I looked out the window and on my back porch, on my little watering can that I use as a planter, well, actually it's the big watering can, there was this pretty blue, I think it's called a Carolina Bluebird. They're not the regular like blue jay or anything, if you didn't, have never seen one. They are bright blue, like like almost like neon blue they're beautiful but with it there was it was a couple i didn't realize because i didn't see the other one because it was so non-colorless you know the male is what is it the male is the bright color and the female is if there's two birds that hang out together the one that's not so colorful like cardinals uh is the female so there she was right with him and i tried he sat there for a long time i'm like okay let me get my camera let me zoom in let me get a good picture off he flew. I didn't get a picture. <laughs> but he was so beautiful. I wanted to really get a picture. But anyway, I did did enjoy seeing him with my eyeballs. So <laughs> I don't think I flipped out all the flip outs. There's a couple of shorter ones. and uh, But this is the biggest one here with the journal card. So I hope you enjoyed a little flip through here. That's a pretty page. I love how that came out when I cut it up. It had this floral... Uh, part on one side and the other side was this color in the background with a pattern a white pattern on it it's so uh, interesting how pages take on a new life when you cut them up like that 12 by 12 pages this is the resume paper we're getting oh here's a oh no that's not a flip out this is just a double colored uh, car, um, piece of cardstock and our last page 
again it is strengthened with washi and when you close these um, it's it's uh, a little hard to close it this way because of the way the binding comes in right here so you just flip it back like this flip all the pages back and the cover and there you go she's closed up so uh, let me show you real quick before you go uh, the other one other little books that I pulled out because I actually would intended to go through a pile of books of these like little books like this that I have that's the pile is about like this can you see my hands in the camera big big pile <laughs> and I pulled these off the top and I was like I don't need to look any further these are so cute I mean I'm just going to do these right here why should I look any further so that one you just saw that we just finished the bible stories and then this one's the ten commandments look at those kids are so beautiful and this one, God loves me. So that's what the other pile of pages is for. It's going to be for the these books right here. I've already taken the spine off. And this one is Cowboy Dan. So adorable. And these are all the same age. If I didn't say it before, I probably did. But in case I forgot, uh, early 50s. And one of them I think said 1949 or something like that. So there we go. That's it for today. Happy Mother's Day again. I hope you do something that you enjoy today. I wanted to do this special video for Valentine. I mean, <laughs> for Mother's Day because um, this is what I wanted to do today to enjoy myself, to do a special video and make a whole journal on video pretty much uh, with you guys. So that's how I'm celebrating my Mother's Day. I'm celebrating with my family in a couple weeks because my, one of my kids is out of town this weekend. But um, anyway, happy Mother's Day and do something uh, for yourself today. It's okay. It's Mother's Day. You can do it. <laughs> see, you, see you in my next video. Have a great day.